Hey guys, what's up? It's Phantom here today, and I know that you don't subscribe to my channel for the type of content that, you know, politically driven, but shoot, man, it's, the world's been rough, 2020's been rough, and I guess what I want to talk about today, and this isn't a scripted video, so I might go off topic, so please forgive me if I do, <sighs> it's to talk about the George Floyd situation, the riots, the protesting, and it to generally just say, we are in a very scary, we're in a very undecisive time, and as I go, it's, it's very, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this on every social media, I might do it that way, but the reason why I want to post on YouTube, on Twitter, you already know I'm very vocal about it. I swear, and I'm going crazy about it, and then on, like, if you're, um, Instagram, I did the thing, but that's not enough, <coughs> excuse me, but that's not enough, um, pretty much, I just want to get my two cents in, because I don't feel like I can, I'm, like, while I'm making other content, this is just poking through my head saying you need to at least say something. You have a platform. It's not very big, but it's a way for you to get, you know, tell people, you know, there are ways to support this. And the thing that I want to say is, is, first of all, I'm going to say something that everybody's been saying. Black lives matter. And let me just explain this term because people aren't understanding. Black lives are the ones that are mostly targeted. We have been targeted by tons of people and by the police. Now, we are not the only lives that matter. We are not the only lives that have been targeted. But as of recently, we are the ones that have been shown. And it's hurtful. It's scared because it could be any one of us. It could have been me. It could have been a black friend you know. It could have been any friends you know that could have been in that exact situation. And it's scary. It's a point that I, you go, it's a point that as a minority, you go outside and you instantly have a target on your back. And it's a scary situation. Not just that, but of course 2020 started us off on a wild goose chase for like what we have going on. Now, again, I'm not a very political channel, and this is not the norm for me, so I'm not going to sit here and try to bring politics in it. I'm just here to say what I need to say. And it's essentially like, I don't know, call someone that you care about the most. You know, be there. Be present. Um, This movement is a lot bigger than me. It's a lot bigger than most of us. And it's like... How do I put this without sounding any like, I don't want to sound preachy that while things are in a state of flux right now, I want there to be some type of hope for us. And we have to remember that there's always some type of bright side to what, um, to after this. Cause right now we have to fight. We have to make a statement because all, while many, everybody on this human, on this earth, matter everyone no matter your race gender sexual orientation shit if you like if you like sword art online <laughs> but um you matter you matter as a person we matter all lives matter but black lives have been targeted and it's been a scary situation so it's like i like i i'm in shock because it's scary man like I'm a bl I'm an African American male, and it's scary because if I go outside, I could be targeted, I could be shot at, I could be anything could have happened, and that's the thing is that the people who we pay to protect us, we're more scared of. I have heard more horror stories about these people than I have heard from a mafia person or a gang member, because at least they have intent. And I know that's terrible to say, but I should be more scared of them than with the police that are meant to protect us. And it's horrifying. Like, the first thing they always teach us, and this is mainly for um, African American, they teach us, don't talk back to the police. 
put your hand or cooperate. Ask if I'm being detained. And just cooperate. Like, just go with what the flow. Like, just don't. Don't act ra- ratchet, essentially. But we don't even know if that's going to work anymore. I'm pretty sure George Floyd had his hands behind his back. Didn't resist. Didn't talk back. And it's got to this. And it's not just. This isn't the first case. That's what everyone's wondering. Well, you're only doing this one time. No. There's been many cases where this has happened to young African Americans, young Latinos, young white people all over the place. But we're sick of it happening to everyone. We're sick of it happening. But we need to a black lives do matter. And we need we need to look and hope for change. Change, we're trying to make, well, that's what we're fighting for. And change is going to happen. Th- change will happen as long as we look at each other and we don't look at each other by, again, our skin, our sexual orientation, our gender. But we look at each other as people. We look at each other as human beings. And that's all I want to say is I know the norm. I have a bunch of normal videos coming up, but I need to, I couldn't. With a good heavy heavy heart saying nothing. There will be linked down below. I'll make sure to make sure. I promise. English? I can't English today. I promise I'll leave link down below for where you can celebrate. Or not celebrate. Where you can donate and participate. And if, even if you don't donate. I will make sure there's petitions down there. In the description down below. Um, Stay safe guys. Stay safe. And that's all we can really do. Black Lives Matter. I love and respect every last one of you guys who watch this video, who watches everyone else's videos on it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. There'll be no more content up on Friday. I'll see you guys next time.